everybody, it's your girl Moisha Shante. We're going on a different scene, scene, scene. All right, you guys, how to do on a different? So I wanted to start something new on my channel, and I'm gonna call it Twist Out Therapy. Okay. But basically, for Twist Out Therapy, I'm gonna be talking or engaging with you guys. I'm more like, I guess, intimate let's chat vibe it's not like a get ready with me but kind of is i'm gonna be doing twist out for the very first one i won't be doing a traditional twist out and i'm gonna be talking to you guys about things that perhaps i'm either going through or have already gone through and i just want to share and i just want to talk so i mean y'all know me i just be talking but for this video the topic is you're letting comparison steal your joy and you need to stop that and that's not what may have a little lamb okay a lot of us are doing that so how does this topic relate to me right i am a young 24 year old woman and it still surprises me every time that i'm 24 like what? I was just 21 like two days ago. But I'm a young 24 year old woman and I'm recognizing that I'm really allowing or I have allowed comparison to kind of jab at me. So being 24, I'm not necessarily at the stage in my mind as compared to my peers. And a lot of like in my 20s right now, it's just been feeling like a whirlwind of emotions, expectations, just, just, just mainly expectations, but, and the expectations come with the emotions and stuff. But how I predicted my life to be when I was 16 by 24, shambles, okay? not even close not even almost close <laughs> and it surprises me all the time that i am maybe i have set unrealistic expectations for my own journey because i did not know what my life would be like um at this point but it's just weird because some of my peers right have already considered starting families and i'm not mad at that because i don't don't want to have a kid right now um but i'm just saying i already started families and maybe you guys have experienced this as well already started families already committed to their partners already purchased homes are driving newer cars um are in their own apartments just live in luxury you know and it's weird because I'm not saying that I don't want to live in luxuries. Knowing me as a person, I mean, when it's its time, it will come. If it's God's will, I'm not rushing luxury. But like the bare minimum of contentment for me or what will bring me joy, some of that I'm not, I'm not at that stage yet. Like, it's not that I'm not grateful for where I am, but sometimes I'm like, God, do you remember me? Um, and that's a different time for a different day. Just things like that where sometimes you get so consumed, so consumed by how others are living their lives or where they are in their journey that you kind of force yourself into depression and anxiety and unhappiness and doubt and it's no bueno mm -mm. it's no bueno it's not good and i don't want that for myself and i'm pretty sure you guys don't want that for yourselves either but it's something strange about being in my 20s that i know i'm still learning i'm still developing using the leave-in i'm still developing i'm still growing I'm still going through my own go through and it's weird that I know where I am and it's like you know yeah you do know you're supposed to stay in your lane but sometimes the lane ain't given yet and 
it causes you to like look over and pay attention to what other people are doing on their side and that's how you get yourself caught up in accidents you know and I don't want to lose sight of gratitude I don't want to lose sight of being grateful to God for where he has me I don't want to lose sight of he's still writing a really dope story for me right now I don't want to lose sight of bruh things are actually not that bad I don't want to push myself into that section, but it's a lot, sorry, it's a lot of self-assessment that I have to constantly go through where I have to like teach myself not to be so consumed and so overwhelmed with others' journeys and not pay attention to my own, right? But even speaking to the expectations, I'm not saying to not have a plan, but sometimes when we look at, for instance, if we started a journey, like the same identical journey to someone, say you are in college and you're on the pre-med track and you have a few other friends that are on the pre-med track with you, right? But by the time you graduated, or by the time you guys graduated, the friend got a job before you. And you're like, dang, like, you start to like heavily doubt yourself based on the expectations that you assumed or how you saw your life going before, you know? And it's not fair to yourself to do that. <laughs> it's not fair to you. It's not fair to me. It's not fair to God. Um, because your journey is your journey. And at the end of the day, what is to happen for you will happen for you but sometimes when it's not giving at the moment oh sorry my neck is very shiny when it's not giving at the moment when it should it just really pushes you to experience some very heavy emotions i've been experiencing some of those lately and i've been trying to teach myself or trying to learn how to funnel my emotions to not compare because we're all very different our journeys are all very different it's already pre-written jeremiah 29 11 for scripture you know god is going to take care of you okay he already knew you before you were born before you were in your mother's womb he's going to take care of you regardless you're going to be taken care of if you have faith but i think a lot of that time when you're having heavy doubt it's like that's the best time to double up on faith but it could feel so test like so trying so just like god like not for real but why has thou forsaken me can we be real that's just that's just one of the things that you know it's been on my mind for a minute i don't know y'all's faith or not but most of the people that I do know are Christian, so. But either way, I'm, I'm gonna speak to my truth. My truth is I'm Christian, so I'm gonna speak to what I know protects me and helps me out every day. You know, it's God, but it's just sometimes so easy to get caught up into paying attention to other people. I'm not gonna say it like this, like Kylie Jenner or like Lori Harvey. Okay, Lori, Lori, Lori stole the bed. Okay, she got my. <laughs> I'm just playing, but not for real. Like comparing yourself to either like social lights or influencers or people you graduated with or family members, and sometimes like having some expectations that at the end of the day, none of us know how our lives are gonna turn out. None of us know. If tomorrow might be the next day where you get the job that you want, we're going to get the promotion, or you're a musician and you're gonna finally get signed by somebody, or you're an artist and you, you're gonna get your painting sold. Like, none of us know what tomorrow brings. Um, so the best thing to do at the end of the day is to double up on faith and again stay in our lanes and hyper focus have like serious hyper vision on our own journeys and paying attention to what god has in store and stop worrying about other people and their lives and i know it's easier said than done especially with the day and age that we are in now where 
you see everyone's joy and luxury or popping car or new bay or you know like we see these things in front of us all the time on social media and it can be really really easy to just not necessarily get jealous because i'm not going to call everyone's comparison based on jealousy i don't think it's jealousy for a lot of us um because sometimes yeah we we can have that heart to congratulate people be able to congratulate people in your, in your head you're like dang god like so it's 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 kind of hard sometimes but at the end of the day we can't lose sight on our own journeys lose sight on the purpose our own purposes and what we're here to do y'all i don't know how these just therapies really all go because that's it that's the video that's all i had to say you know i'm gonna go ahead and finish my hair <laughs> But thank you guys for joining me on this very impromptu video. If you guys enjoyed the conversation, definitely let me know. Hit me up in the comment section below. And also follow me on Instagram, at Moisha Shante. Um, but yeah, I'm about to go finish my hair because I, I, I don't know. I can't do two things at once. I'm a talker, so I'm a talk, I'm a talk, and I'm a talk with my hands. I'm not going to be worried about my hair. So I don't know how people do get ready with me, do makeup and talk. It's a lot going on. But thank you guys so very much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>